All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagas Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagas. This episode, we're going to be breaking down the Vikings 53-man roster projections, two preseason games in the books. We're going to do our best to guess what the Vikings will do. This video is brought to you by BetUS. Michael Vick here at BetUS.com. Get it all. Huge bonuses, great odds, a race book, live in-game betting, and a casino. BetUS, my online sports book and casino. Bet US link down in the description. Match up to your first deposit, 125%. First three deposits, up to 2000 bucks. Hit up the link down in the description. Let's do this. Let's hop into it. Quarterbacks, it's already a spoiler alert because I can't scroll up any higher. Yeah, so Sam Darrell, Nick Mullins making the roster. Uh, Matt Correll, I think he just got here a little bit too late. And Jaron Hall, at least he showed something in the last preseason game. Maybe he's showed enough to keep around the practice squad and continue to develop. But uh, the one thing I do want to say with the quarterback group is there's this rumor going on the Vikings want to add a veteran, which I thought was kind of surprising. I don't think Matt Correll was that type. They're looking for someone to get cut. So do they want to have three quarterbacks on this roster this year? Uh, we'll see. Like, So let me ask you this. Would you, if, if it comes down to just practice squad, would you rather have Jaron Hall on the practice squad or keep Matt Corral and see what, what, what marinates there? I'd rather have Jaron Hall. Jesus. No, I, it's not even, I'd have Matt Corral. To be fair, I'd pretty much take everybody over Jaron Hall at this point. Uh, Matt Corral, like the upside is just way bigger for him. I mean, you got to admit that. I don't think there is. I mean, he's been in the league. He's faltered. He was in the UFL. He didn't well, I mean, do he's well injured. there. I just don't – I don't know. I don't think he's got it. I, I think Jaron Hall at least showed something here on last Saturday against the Browns. So I think they continue to develop their guy that they brought in they drafted. All right. Yeah, I, I think you put a lot more stake into what they do in the preseason games than me. I don't, but I, I just – I don't know. He finally showed something. And he, he did have that, you know, one moment of drive last year when he was forced to play against the Falcons. So I don't know. I think Jaron Hall sticks around. We're gonna watch. We're gonna sit down and watch some of his games he played last year. Oh, I remember. Running backs, no change, uh, barring someone they sign. I think this will absolutely be who it is. Lepagus agrees. Yeah. Wide receiver, uh, also no changes. We did cut Ty Ty James today. Nope. We signed Justin Hall. Justin Hall did not make the team. He didn't make it. Uh, too, he just got here too late. Uh, but yeah, I think this is probably gonna be the group if they keep five. Questions: Will they keep more than that? Brennan uh, Paul, Brennan Paul is not a lock by any. He's means. not. He's not. But uh, I think this is probably your five. Tristan Jackson, what a ball player we got yeah. there. Damn, all in all. Yeah, he uh, he's getting me very excited. Tight ends again, the same. Hawkinson going to the IR. Um, nothing really earth shattering here. Yeah. Offensive line, there is a change from last time. Uh, we ended up keeping Dalton Reisner. More so because Ed Ingram appears to just be one of the worst offensive linemen ever. And then uh, Michael Jurgens was was has been released. He hasn't looked great, Michael Jurgens. Uh, I know he was the one who got plowed over in the block field goal in the first preseason game. And I, I don't think he's grading out very well either. Um, I think he ends up on the practice squad. Um, I'm just curious if one of these like this, you know, the Robinson or like a Henry Bird are going to sneak on there because Ed Ingram does look like ass. And I don't think they'd flat out cut him, but the fact he got all this work with the twos shows that the coaches wanted to see him uh, perform, and he didn't do it. He did not uh, meet expectations on Saturday. No, oh, I mean, he played the whole game, didn't he? Did he play the whole game? I think he was out there for the damn near the whole thing, yeah. Ed, Ed Ingram shouldn't be playing the whole preseason games. This is not a good sign. And and if if I'm getting a little crazy, if Ed Ingram or Dalton Reisner, one of those guys were cut, I don't think anyone would be surprised uh, like you said, Robinson, who's not even on this list, uh, he, he could be a sneaky guy in. Like, I, I won't be surprised if they do something goofy there. Not yeah, or maybe they bring in an outside body if they do let Ed Ingram go. We'll see. I mean, maybe he's one of those guys who makes the initial 53, then is, is cut when they see what's out there on the on the market. Ed Ingram. Oof. He was supposed to be the guy from that draft class that, like, all right, at least we got Ed Ingram. We got a guard for a while. Ain't looking that way. Yeah. Defensive line. Uh, this is the same too, but I will say Taki Tayami. He's making a push. A watch. Yeah, he's looked good. He's looked damn good. He had five tackles last last week. Uh, he's eating up space. He's getting back there. He's playing with some fire. And I think Levi Drake Rodriguez. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised he's, he starts a handful of games this year. He's looking so damn good out there. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts week one. Yeah, he's earned it. Yes, absolutely. Ed, has. Edge rusher. We got Gabriel Murphy going to the IR. 
Mm -hmm. um, it, it just seems like that's the 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 only path for this dude right now. Uh, that gives him they can bring him back next year, but he he didn't even go to Cleveland. Um, yeah, Bo Richter still making it though. Jihad Ward, a name that people are throwing out there, like they wouldn't uh, be overly shocked if he was released. Yeah, it's gonna be really curious to see what they do at the bottom of this depth chart. Uh, will Bo Richter make it? He had another sack. Yes, I know he missed some tackles though, and I think I, there was one play. Bo Richter Brom, skill. Luke Brown putting out there, he just got absolutely destroyed on a play. Uh, hated seeing that from Bo Richter, but uh, I still think I'd keep him. I just don't know why Jihad Ward's a big question, but yeah, Andre Carter, I don't see him making it. I do think Gabe Murphy just he hasn't been out there, so I think the IR him and Porter would definitely be a practice squad guy. If I was wagering my house, I would say Bo Richter is not going to make the roster. I think we want him to. Mm -hmm. He's a very exciting dude to watch, but uh, that would be a big, big upset if he actually makes. Could but you imagine with Gabriel he, Murphy going on the IR? Yeah, does free up some room. Could you imagine though if we don't put him on the fifty-three and he gets signed by somebody else? We say that every. I know year. what would happen with Bo Richter. He would hurt more than won't. anybody else. He, if we release him, he will be on our practice squad. <laughs> Most likely, but inside linebacker, no changes. Dallas Gant played his buttocks off though, my man, Dallas. And I thought uh, Camus Gujir Hill had a great game. He was all over the place the first half making Gosh. plays. So I, he was really a. Uh, surprised me so i think he's probably your backup brian asimo again he's fast he gets back there but he just misses so many damn tackles uh cornerback stefan gilmore didn't that look nicer that it looks does. really really nice gilmore murphy griffin solid starters there we do have him keeping nudie and fabian duke shelley not great uh nishan <laughs> wright the guy we traded for with with stefan gilmore coming here he, we had to bump somebody yeah, I really want to see Nudie make it. He had the beautiful interception. He looks like he got a little tired on the return, though. Had the quarterback tackle him. We hate to see that, but uh, he's been balling out. So, uh, yeah, and this is probably your thing. And, and I, Caleb Evans at four, I think that's where he'll start the year. But at the end of, end of the year, I think he's way at the bottom of that depth chart. I think Fabian's going to be at four. Yeah. Well, wouldn't surprise me one bit. Um, yeah. No, I, I, I like our, I like our cornerback group now. Safeties. Mm -hmm. Here's the big bombshell. Lewis Seen. Yeah. We said there's no way, no way this guy is making the team. All of a sudden, he has one good preseason game, and everybody's just like, Lewis Seen, he's earned it. He, he showed us something. It's not just that. It's, he's been out there with the special teams. He was out there for every single special team snap week one, be. week two. Yeah, but if he's a core special teamer, they kept six last year. They're going to probably keep the same. He has his breakout game. Well, it was against the twos. But you know what? Ed Ingram was out there with the twos. He didn't do anything. Lewis seemed balled his ass off. The only thing he didn't do was run after his interception. He just laid there. I think he thought he was in college. It's been so long since he had an interception. But at this point, why not keep him? I'd rather keep him than McCain. No, I, if if like there would be nothing better for Lewis Seen to make this team and actually do something, even if it's only on special teams. Like, give us something. Nobody wants him to get cut. It sucks. Oh. It just just validates that he's a bust. But I'm not. Lewis Seen, his interception was a tip ball that he was just in the right place at the right time. He, it's not like he was on this fantastic coverage. And then his sack, I don't think it even, like, nobody blocked. Like, he just had a straight shot to the quarterback. So it's not he like he there. did this anything beautiful. Like, I think what I'm trying to say is anybody in those two spots would have done the same thing. Lewis Seen played the whole preseason game. He did. The whole thing, which, again, is not great. I, I, I think the coaches already know what they're doing with him. I don't think this moved the needle. I mean, do you not want him to make those plays, though? I mean, you want to see him produce if he's out there playing, and he did. So, no, I, mean, I, I, I'm glad. I'm glad he made the plays. There was nothing. It was awesome watching the uh, all the other players cheering for Lewis, seeing, getting excited mm -hmm. for the dude. Like he did what he should have done. It was, it was great. But whether he's staying or not, I, I still think the coaches like. I don't think that made a difference. No, and I think, uh, and, and he's still no lock. Like, I mean, he could still get cut, and I don't think anybody would be surprised. But I don't think Jay Ward's a lock either. No, he hasn't looked great this preseason. So, I, I, But, again, Brian Flores loves keeping safeties, and I think these are the guys you keep. Najee Thompson, I mean, I don't know where he's at in his – in his. Uh, I don't even – yeah, I, I like IR um, is, like, best case, I think, right now for Najee Thompson. Mm -hmm. um, but Lewis seen it was, it was fantastic to see him just hey, – It was great. He balled out. We got to give him credit. He balled out. And, give it uh, him, I'm absolutely giving him credit. I just – is it too little too late? Yeah, no. That's, that's a valid point. Uh, uh, special teams are locked and loaded now. Seth Vernon was released, so these will be our guys. Will Riker, you're fantastic. I love everything about you. How nice was it to have a kicker be perfect? Three for three extra points, two for two field goals. And they were like dead center every single time. That's what he Thank does. You, Will Riker. I don't think he knows anything other than dead center. Yeah, so that is our 53 right now with a week before cut day to go. 
Uh, a couple spots in question, but this thing is really starting to take shape, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, next week, big day. Big day getting down to that 53. The third preseason game, I don't think it matters one bit what anybody does in that thing, but who knows? Maybe Lewis Seen will come out and have four interceptions, two touchdowns, six sacks, and eight tackles for a loss. That'll push the needle. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's right. in the comments. Yes, You're and up. remember, link down in the description, Bet U.S., Fastest payouts, great customer service. Hit them up. And remember this, Tupac never won a Grammy.